Hello everyone, it's Jess. Um, welcome to my kitchen once again. We're gonna have some fun in here. Today I'm gonna make like a breakfast casserole, okay? So what we're gonna do, I am making a smaller version. Now you can definitely like double this and put it in a nine by 13. But I realized last time I made this, it took me like a week to get through the leftovers. And um, the fun fact is, I don't even have enough for what I usually do to um, turn this into a nine by 13. So I'm gonna give that a light spray. Um, whatever you have for non-cooking spray. I just got some canola spray here. Uh, what am I going to put in there next? What I love about this here, okay? It can, it's really versatile. You can put damn near about anything in it. Now, um, if you have like, I don't know, some Pillsbury Grants or something like that, could you use it? Absolutely. But what I'm gonna be doing, I have, let's see, two, four, five, perfect. This will be perfect for the bottom of this dish. And so you know, if you wanna know what kind of, what size dish this is, hell, I don't know. Uh, it's good after I sprayed it, right? This is a, ooh, I, can't read that it is a it, it's anchor hiking i know that it's a two quart it's two quart you all jeez louise all right we're just gonna throw this package away these are those pre-frozen buttermilk biscuits okay so from my last project i had uh there was 20 biscuits in that last one and i used them for one of these casseroles so there was 15 it took to fill up a nine by 13 it's gonna take five for this it's gonna be perfect you could technically probably put six in there but guess what? This is this is what we have. So this is what we're working with. Um, so real simple. This is just going to be kind of a build and bake situation. All right. So we got those biscuits randomly, you know, kind of laying on a star in the bottom there. Now what I am going to do, uh, when I did the 15 biscuits, this took roughly a dozen eggs. Okay. So I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm gonna go with the bit uh, egg per biscuit here. I'm gonna go five. Let's we're just kind of cutting this down. I'm gonna cut it into five. What I love about this is you're leaving the eggs whole. Okay, you're leaving them whole. I'm gonna crack them into something else first. Therefore, if I get a shell, do something stupid, we're gonna be we're gonna be set. But this thing is so versatile. You can literally um, you you can sit here and do just about anything with it. And in fact, while I'm talking. I haven't preheat my oven yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and start that. You wanna preheat your oven to 350, okay? You're gonna to wanna to preheat it to 350. You know, these are smaller eggs. I am gonna go with six. Uh, these are, these say they're large, but you know, like sometimes you just crack an egg and you're like, that's not very large. That's not very large. That's not very large. So we're gonna go with six. If I need to adjust past there, I always can. That's the good news. You're just kinda of eyeballing this seeing where it goes. So we're four, five, and one more to make six. All right. Now, I don't have the, all these cool angles nor anybody helping me with the camera, so you're just gonna, you're gonna bear with me, okay? Because I just totally jacked those up, put them in the back of the fridge. That's okay, it's okay. All right, so what we're gonna do, see these? We're just gonna pour them in here. We're just gonna pour them in here. We're gonna kind of strategize where they land. In fact, I strategized this perfect. Um, basically, anywhere that you have, anywhere that you have a hole. So there was five. So I had five to go around and one in the in the center there. So it's perfect. They. Um, so now we have that. Here's where I'm gonna give my first little layer of cheese. And once again, use up what's at your house, you all. So I have like barely any cheddar left. I'm gonna sprinkle that on top here. We're just gonna, we're just gonna sprinkle that on top, okay? Because there's not much there. Don't worry, I have more cheese because that would not be an ample amount of cheese. Now, if you are somebody who is vegan, um, you know, is this gonna be the dish for you? No, uh, <laughs> if, you are, if you're, you know, but I mean like, if, if you're lactose intolerant, something like that, you wanna leave out cheese, you absolutely can. There's no rule saying, oh, it has to have cheese. I don't want anybody to, this is totally customizable. Now, um, so on that note, add whatever veggies you want, add whatever um, cheese you want, add whatever meats you want. That's the basis, really. Biscuits, eggs, biscuits and eggs. I'm gonna grab salt and pepper real quick. A little salt, a little pepper. Sometimes I like a little paprika in about everything. 
I'm, I'm going to grab it today because to me, I like paprika. Now my husband has misplaced the salt on me, so that's, that's awesome. Guess what? I happen to have this guy here. We can utilize it right now. We can utilize it right now. I got a little thing of pink Himalayan salt that's just going to have to work. Um, but I'm going to put a good dose of pepper on there. Pepper is measured with your heart, okay? Um, I'm not heavy on salt. I, I, I'm not. I admit it, especially when I'm using ingredients that kind of have a naturally higher uh, salt content in the first place. So this is one of those little things. So I'm just going to kind of pinch it and sprinkle it around here in my container. Ta-da! This is what we're working with here. I don't have the best of angle for you all. I, don't, I, I can't figure that out. So I need to I need to figure that out, you all. But just pretend like we got a good angle. I will get better in time. And as far as the paprika goes, it's kind of measured with love as well. Um, let's see. I'm just going to kind of tap a little. You know, like if you were sprinkling cinnamon or something like that, same kind of concept. You want just a little color, a little special color going on there, right? So uh, here's what I have. I have one of these things of like diced up cubed ham. And I love these for just instances like this, you all. Something like this. You want just... Uh, enough you can grab out they're perfect for like pizzas and um i don't know you're making a chicken dish or something like that i'm not getting heavy-handed with it here i'm you know just literally taking out a couple like you can see about how much i'm grabbing and that is plenty for me plenty plenty for me let's go ahead and put that bad boy away now i am going to grab I have some spinach over here that I just rinsed off. I have a piggy who jumped up where she's not supposed to be, and she knows my hands are full. If you're a jerk, you need to get down, kitty. So I have some spinach here that I just, I'm just gonna roughly, if you have some kitchen scissors, you can do that. Hey, enjoy my cat, seriously. Right now, that's mud, you all, that's mud for you. So she's like, hey, are you halfway into producing this and can't go? Uh, back the other way. Absolutely. So let me stick my ass in your camera. No, that was her face, you all. It's okay. So she's not where I'm cooking, thank goodness, because I would be really mad because I do not like her up here. I, so you know, this is a no-no zone for her and she knows it. But the table um, that I'm working off of is new and she's very curious. So she's like, oh, what? I mean, she couldn't, she wasn't supposed to get on the old table, but you know, she's like, oh, we have something new to play with, you know? So this is, this is where we stand. So I just took some spinach, enough that I thought would kind of, as I tore it up, kind of uh, go across the top here. So I have spinach. Once again, you can use spinach, you cannot use spinach. There's not red bell pepper, I absolutely love. So I'm just gonna grab off a piece here. I know everybody's got a million ways you can cut up a red bell pepper so it doesn't uh, give you all the seeds and do whatever. I know all those, but I'm just choosing to steal a section here real quick. So, I'm going to chop that up. I'm going to sprinkle some of that in because that's going to give us some ooey goody things. Now, if you have like some great tomatoes, uh, even if you have like canned diced tomatoes or Rotel or something, could you use it in here? Absolutely. It's totally versatile, you all. This is, this is what I'm telling you. I think I'm going to want one more slice like that because I like my red bell pepper. It's so delicious, especially with the egg and the cheese and the, well, the ham and the spinach. Mm-mm gonna be delicious I'm gonna bag the rest of that up so we're just I'm just dicing this into little diced up pieces you know nothing nothing fancy nothing fancy it's all just dumped and layered you all so I gotta tell you my inspiration for this uh, it did come from a fellow Facebook lady um, her her page is Kristen's friends and I think it's k-r-i-s-t-i-n she has all these easy like dump meals and um anyway i'm just kind of i'm, I'm kind of uh i'm kind of borrowing and pizzazzing ideas from her i i admit it so this is uh this is just something nice and simple and easy for everyone and i have a little bit of green onion here so i'm i have just a little bit left but i was like you know this is just enough for me to just sprinkle a little on here and have some fun okay a little more color a little more fun um so my other cheese i have left here is monterey and my hands are slick there we go i got it i got it. some monterey jack once again just uh i'm going 
cheese is measured with love. I want enough to hold this all down and together. So I'm gonna call this, it's probably, if I were gonna guess, a half a cup. Half a cup, I don't know, this is an eight ounce package. I've probably used two thirds of it. So if that gives you some kind of math to work off of, there you go, that's my measure cheese, however you feel. My final product, and I love, this is another one I keep around specifically for like pizza, salads, whatever. Um, and I know it's cheating, right? But I do carry like full bacon around for cooking up full bacon things. But for something like this, it's nice to just have something easy and on the go. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of these real bacon bits on top, probably a couple tablespoons worth. And you know what? This is gonna go in the oven uh, at 350 for about 30 minutes. Now, obviously everybody's ovens can be a little bit different and temperamental. So if you need to adjust it, give it like five more. I'm wanting to say when I did the nine by 13, I ended up having to add like five to 10 minutes onto it. So don't quote me on things. Um, so anyway, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna check back with you all here in a few. Um, you can bake this completely uncovered, um, I guess, but I am going to cover it just to keep that, like the cheese, the bacon combo on top from like getting too brown or whatever. You could always sit there and uncover it in the last five minutes. But yeah, use up what cheeses you have on hand. Um, you know, throw in any spices, any meats, leave out meats, leave out cheeses, whatever. Your, your main thing are those biscuits and eggs and you can build off of that. And uh, it does, it takes right about that 30 minute mark at 350. So it is delicious. I love it. Those biscuits bake up really well in there. Um, you know, I was kind of surprised. I had done something similar to that before and um, I just, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So that's it. And uh, I will be back for a final like, you know, like plating and whatever. So you guys are getting me in breakfast mode here. I am very just much like uh, chill today. I've got some craft projects on hand and different stuff I'm finishing up. So, but I'm hungry. So this is perfect. I'm getting it done. I'll see you in a few. You know what? I apologize. You might want to see what this looks like as I get ready to slide it in the oven. A before and after is always nice, right? All right, here she is in all of her glory. Look at this, you guys. Does that not look like ooey, gooey, cheesy amazingness? I'm going to be back, slice out a piece here, uh, about five minutes of cooling before I do so, and then we're going to give it a whirl. All right, you all, so I know I said I took that out. I thought it was nice and good, but you know what? It needed to go back in for a little bit. So I'm going to tell you, I think literally... It may just be my oven, but it took about 40 minutes. It was still a little bit uh, just too goofy. So if you take it out of the oven and you shake it and you see like something going on, and then a funny view, um, if you see like some movement going on, that is going to be my guess to tell you to stick it back in for a little bit, okay? But we should be nice and good now. I'm gonna give it a quick poke. Oh yeah, we are nice and good. That, that method really does work. Kind of pick it up. Just give it a little shake. If you see some wobble, stick it back in for a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and serve up a piece here. Um, I love having a little pie cutting tool like this. I don't know about you all, but it really makes like, when it comes to uh, like slicing up a piece of cake or I don't know, just serving a piece of pizza, piece of pie, whatever. I'm not a lefty here. Um, anyway, turns out so wonderful. This is coming up beautifully. Look at that, we got like a cheese pull and everything happening. It's not no Giordano's cheese pull, but you know what? It's good, it's Jess's pull. I'm gonna do a little bit more pepper. And look at this, you all, look at that. How delicious does that look? This is my favorite. I am a Fiesta Ware girl, gotta tell y'all. Um, I, I am a Fiesta Ware person, and this is my this is my favorite plate, the blue, the cobalt. That is my favorite. So. All right, we're gonna pray this isn't too hot <laughs> that I don't burn the living hell out of myself here. If so, it'll be live, it'll be excellent. Um, you know what, let me talk about 30 more seconds before we go shoving this in my mouth. I am so excited. I was, uh, I was I'm waiting for um, my first order to get here from Meloise. I am a, huh, I am a um, affiliate for Meloise and I ordered this sweatshirt and it's supposed to be here today. I think that's, a, you know, I picked up some affiliate programs and I am excited because I am pers 
I'm purchasing like little small amounts from each one to kind of see like turnover time. So today is the 25th, so it's eight days. It said five to 20 days to expect, so eight days is good. I'm excited. I ordered a sweatshirt. They custom make them like as you order them. Um, I'm a hoodie person, if you can't tell. But anyway, I got all excited a few moments ago because someone came to the door and the doorbell, uh, you know, like the ring camera or whatever, caught it. And it was just somebody hanging one of those damn, uh, like, <laughs> things for uh, the alderman or whatever on the door. And I was like, oh, go away. I'm waiting. I'm waiting so patiently. I thought I was going to be able to come on and show you my new sweatshirt, but it isn't happening quite yet. So I guess that's going to be uh, material for later on. But here we go. Mm. That's so good. Mm, mm, mm. What I really love here is the um, all the flavors and how they go together. The biscuits cook up just perfectly, that egg with it. But to me, my favorite, which I did not add last time I made this, uh, my favorite is the crunch of the red bell pepper. You know how like when you get them just that right softness? Mm, it's so delicious. You got to try this. Um, super easy to make and super customizable as we just, uh, experienced. So, mm. it's time to go finish this. You all, <laughs> you all have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.